With the surging refugee population in Uganda, settlements present new opportunities for financial institutions to extend financial services. Postbank is the latest to tap into this new ground. And when you talk of the mass market, this is part of the mass market. So we are not in the wrong place. We have to offer these services, and one way to do that is to leverage on technology. Because the traditional branch, brick and mortar branch, is very expensive and makes services a cost to deliver to customers. Supported by financial sector deepening Uganda, this partnership is, according to officials, part of a long-term partnership with banks to promote financial inclusion in the country. FSD is supported by DFID, mm. and we have extended Postbank a small grant of 250,000 pounds um, to do this work. As such, we will later this year be rolling out a challenge fund that will allow financial service providers to 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 request for funds that will that will that will enable them to roll out initial innovative financial services in the refugee camps and beyond. Even then, with rampant accusations of embezzlement of donor funds meant for refugees, financial technology experts assert that these innovations are critical in eliminating fraud. If there is a donor community that is uh, willing to fund the refugee programs, it is important for the people who are dispersing the benefits, is it money, it could be food, it could be non-food non items, it could be anything for the donors to really uh, have better visibility and transparency in this entire value chain to make sure that you know the, uh, the benefit is actually going to the right person, to the, to the deserving person.